Hey guys, I'm Mark Humphreys. I started uh, getting into gardening basically this year. I've done it before, but at this house it started this year. And I went to go build some planter boxes out of wood and saw how outrageous it was as far as the cost. So I decided to explore an alternative to building some planter boxes. I still wanted them to be really, really high. So these are about 36 inches high and they're 10 feet wide, 15 feet long. And I think the center of it is around like, you know, eight feet in length, something along those lines, maybe even like nine feet in length. And uh, they came out awesome. And I'll go through and explain how I just did it. All right, so first off, I wanna start explaining exactly the end product because I feel like these videos go through how to do it. And they don't actually like show you if you wanna actually build these. So this is what they look like. I painted them blue. It's like my favorite color. Um, I like the steel accents like on the corners. I still need to do some steel accents like in the corners here. Um, but I got the garden going already. This is just like a concrete brick um, at the top that I found at Lowe's. And I just kind of used liquid nails, construction adhesive, just to submit like, you know, adhere those to the top of the wall. Um, you can also see some of my building materials that are still left over. So this is a four and a half inch thick poly iso foam. And this was, um, that's actually manufactured about like 45 minutes away from my house. And these are called seconds. So these are basically uh, ones that don't meet construction guidelines. And so they sell it to me like at more than half off. You could probably find something similar to that um, at your like, you know, local construction um, supply warehouse, something along those lines. And then this is backer board. Um, so the front of it is backer board, just like you would see in like a tile shower before you start tiling it. Um, and it has a really soft, already polished look, but it's actually very durable. So this is kind of what I use. I've never seen this done before, um, but it's a really rigid material. And I felt like the stone on the top would really like hold up, right? Like you can't even really bend this um, by hand, even though it's like a short stubby section. So I used a bunch of those and the overall cost of this project was around, let's see, without all of the soil, the soil itself costs $800 to fill this just because it's such a large planter box. Um, so it was around $1,600 in materials uh, just to build this, but it's a very large planter box at that. So I'll show you guys some pictures of it being assembled. put in some black squash, yellow squash. These are some cucumbers and I'm gonna have them trail up and down this um, cattle wire. I also have some peppers, which I'm really not that into so far. And then I have 12 different types of tomatoes because who doesn't love a homegrown tomato? And then in this section, I have some lettuce. This is all shielded by the sun uh, part of the day with this tree. So I have some lettuce that's really taken off. Um, I just got these as like seed starters um, at our local nursery. And so far I'm loving the height of it. You can kind of see, I guess on the side of my hip, it's like right a, a little bit below where my hip is. 
um, and it's really easy to pick all of the like fruit. You can see some of it all starting. Really easy to weed and water. So I love these planter boxes and I will definitely, I think I'm gonna continue with all the extra material along in the back row, but that'll just be like kind of a flower. Long story short, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love the planter boxes themselves. And I hope that someone takes up this idea and starts building them themselves because it really came out to be a more permanent look in my house uh, rather than just some like wood that you really just throw together. Um, I don't like the look of those. So this is a real higher end look to a planter box. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks.